Hi, hello, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is time for the mid-year freakout tag. Now, um, I will be skipping some questions because some questions I just don't really have an answer for. So I'm just gonna do the ones I have an answer for. So it's a revised mid-year freakout tag thingy. So let's get into it now. Best book you've read so far in 2024. So, um, phone season. Yes. I think Atlas Six as well. The love interests. I really like the Tempest, A Tempest of Tea as well. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to go with all of them. It's been a good year so far. It's been a good year. I'm not gonna lie. Best sequel you've read so far in 2024. Four. Hellbent, yeah. Possibly all the bone seasons as well. <sighs> yeah. Oh, definitely Hellbent though. Definitely. I'm so excited. I'm so intrigued in that series. And I don't know when like book three is coming. Um, but there definitely should be a book three because of how it ends and how it's going. That series is not finished. I need more. I want more. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, 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 gimme. New releases you haven't read yet, but want to. So, <laughs> um, I, I only really have one answer for this one, and it's one most people have, like, hated on. Uh, and it is uh, House of Flame and Shadow. Is that what it's called? The third book in the Crescent series series. Uh, now, I'm waiting for the paperback version to fit all my other Sarah J Maas books, which, got, which I believe are these, if I'm not completely blind. I'm waiting for that paperback version to come out before I read that book. So I, I'm guessing I'm going to have to wait at least until next year sometime. Uh, there's no word on it, so we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. But yeah, most people have really hated that book, and I'm kind of interested now I want to know because of how book two ended I need to know what happens book three surprisingly there's been very little or like no spoilers at all at least in like the the sphere the atmosphere that where I've been um, I've not heard any spoilers or seen any spoilers although I guess most of that goes on on TikTok so possibly how I've been managing not to be spoiled because I'm not really on TikTok. I go on TikTok every now and again and I post a video of my cats. That's how I use TikTok. <laughs> Most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Um, Queen Bee. <laughs> Technically it's already come out but since I'm only doing it from like Maine to Maine, January to June and not July and I know it's August now but I'm not counting July yet, and yes, <laughs> I have it, um, I have the book right here, I've not unboxed it yet. Also, very excited about book three in the Luminary series, um, what's it called, The Whispering Night, uh, but I don't think it's coming out until November, and I'm kind of hooked on that series, so it's a problem. It's a problem. I'm also very, 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 very excited about Lindsay Kelk's uh, The Bell Witches. Yes! So, there's so many more books, uh, honestly, but those are kind of the main ones. <laughs> biggest surprise. Um, the Luminaries have been the biggest surprise because uh, that was, I, I picked up that book just very randomly. It's not really a cover that. I would normally gravitate towards, um, especially with, well, the skull on the front. But then it turned out to be something very mysterious, magical, supernatural, all the kind of things I like. So I got caught up, I, I, I got sucked in. And uh, yeah, happy surprise, happy surprise. Book that made you cry. So I think I've only properly cried, ooh, Let's see. Cats We Meet Along the Way. I think I sobbed in that one. And Guard Your Hearts. I think those are the two books that made me cry. I don't... No, I don't think I've properly cried a lot this year. I haven't read a page... I haven't read a page tune book yet, I think. Possibly. So, 
No, I haven't read a Paige Toon book yet, I, and I do believe that's going to make me cry, possibly. I always cry at Paige Toon books. Usually happy tears, but sometimes like, why? <laughs> book that made you happy. That has got to be Love Me Do by Lindsay Kelk. That was just cuteness, overload, and laughs. Yeah. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? Oh, let's check my uh, 24 of 2024, which I know there's not 24 books on there. There's a lot more, but let's see what we have. So, um, Holly Bourne's You Can Be So Pretty. I haven't read that yet. I haven't read Lucy Daniels' Hope Meadow series, so I have that. I also have The Whispering Night by Susan Dennard. Um, that's not out until, like, November or whatever, so there's that. Um, I have Tom and Giovanna Fletcher's Even Man trilogy on here, but I don't think book three is coming out this year either, so I'm probably going to skip that one. Um, I've put a little, like, uh, sticky note for a possible Lindsay Kelk 2024 book, but I do already have another book of hers here that I have read yet, which is Love Me Do, so possibly I won't add it. Depends on if I get that book or not this year. Um, I also have Vaseem Khan's Baby Ganesh Agency Investigation series. Um, and I have the last book in the Green Creek Saga by TJ Klune. And then we have, let's see, I have Jen Lyons' A Chorus of Dragons. <laughs> I was supposed to start the first book. Um, like last year and then I was like mm, maybe January I still haven't read that one yet um, I only have book one by the way so there's that uh, I also have The Chocolate Lovers Club by Karen Matthews I, there's four books in that one basically I have a lot of Brandon Sanderson yeah so basically the whole of Miss Bonera 2 Stormlike Archives and the Skyward series now these are just to basically make me remember they exist. I don't own any of these books except for the first Skyward book which I'm uh, gonna reread once I get a hold of the other books in that series. Um, but basically the Brandon Sanderson page is basically just to remind me he exists and I want to continue reading his books. Um, and then I have Page Tunes, Only Love Can Hurt Like This, which I do have in my bedroom. Uh, I've also put Page Tune 2024. I don't have that one, so it depends on if I get it. Or And also Lucy Vine's 2024 book. Both of these are on little sticky notes, so they're there, but they're like bonus books, so it's not a must read. They're bonus. We like bonus books. What books do you want to reread this year? So, uh, I've done some rereads, spontaneous, like, oh, this is a book I haven't read in a bit. Let's read it. Uh, but there's one series that um, I'm, I'm anxious to read again. I'm just waiting for the for one book in that series. So uh, it's a Good Girl's Guide to Murder series. So I have all the paperbacks, but <laughs> I also kinda, hang on. So I have all the paperbacks of these books, um, which I have read before, but then um, there was this, you know what, let's just put out special editions of these books and, uh, well, I've been collecting them, so A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, uh, Good Girl Bad Blood, and then As Good As Dead. Uh, I'm just waiting for, um, well, Killjoy in this <laughs> special edition kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, um, they got me, they got me there. So basically I'm just waiting for the prequel, which is uh, coming out sometime in fall. I don't know, in the next couple of months, I think. Um, so I'm waiting for that one, and then I'm going to read all of them again. That's basically the only reread I've been waiting for. <laughs> Yeah. Favourite author so far this year? So, 
Samantha Shannon, gotta mention her. Um, I'm, I, I may be slightly in love with her right now because of the bone season. Um, so, you know. Um, <laughs> also, Olivia Blake. Um, not so much, I, I mean, I've read previous books by her, but uh, Atlas Six kind of really dragged me in to Olivia Blake love. And who else? Helen Comerford, uh, because of the love interest, sucked me in. DC, Marvel, Veronica Mars kind of deal. Yes, bring me, bring me, <laughs> bring it to me, yes. Um, uh, and I guess Susan Dennett as well, because I was so surprised by the luminaries. So there's that, I think that's it. Do you think you'll reach your reading goal? Are you going to change it? So my reading goal has already been reached. Let's see how much have I read, let's say. So <laughs> not counting July, I've read 59 books. Um, and if we are counting July, I've read 79 books. Cool. Um, so I've reached my goal of 50. And no, I'm not going to change the number. I'm not going to up the number. Um, I like that I've accomplished that goal. I don't put it too high. I mean, 50 books is quite a lot and not everyone even does that. Um, but so far for the last couple of years, I've reached 50 books in the last like first six months or so. Um, so I feel like that is a very reachable goal for me. And that's the only reason I put 50. If I were to put like one, I would feel like I was cheating. And so I do put I put 50 because of that so yes and no I'm not gonna up it I'm just gonna leave it at that and make sh just continue reading and having fun with the whole thing so yeah there's that and that was my kind of a revised mid-year freak out tag ish uh, for this year and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching I shall see you all next time take care oh boy